Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen how to debug the state NGRX store. We have seen using the NGRX store dev tools. We have seen. Now in this video, we will we will move a little bit further. That means, for example, if you try to see the output here, if you try to see the output, right now we are having the counter. So this is the counter. So we are maintaining the counter state. There is nothing but the counter dot state dot yes. So here we are maintaining here the counter state. Now we have added a new module that is nothing but the post. So here we need to show the post data. That means list of all the post articles. We need to add a new article. We need to update the article. We need to delete the article. Everything we need to do it here. That means we need to maintain a state for this post data also. How we can maintain the store? Uh, how we can maintain the state? Already we have a counter state. So. Uh, so writing here directly post here will it be will it be feasible so it it doesn't look nice why because this interface is meant for only the counter counter means for this module only so whatever the module it may be counter it may be auth module or it may be contact or anything any module so products module or category module whatever, whatever the module it may be so that module has a separate state there is nothing but the counter state now we need to maintain so now here we are having the post state and in this post also we need to have a separate state but we have already learned that for every application there need to be only one state one state should be there only for the one store should be there only for the application but here we are already having the state and for the post state how we can maintain so let's try to see in this video now here if i try to see if i uh, here in the presentation now here if you see the presentation here the current state of our application so right now the application current state so what is the state we are having of our application is the counter state only so the counter state is having counter that is one having two two properties that is counter value and the channel name so this is the state right now the application what it is having right now what, uh, now next what we need to do is we need to add the post state also so how we can add so now, now how the post state will look like so the post state should uh, will look like right now up to now the post it will be having the list of posts okay just like the counter uh, just like the counter how it is having the counter in the same scenario it will be having the post and in this one it will be having the post list so of this post list it will be having the id title description so it will be having a array of the posts so this is the post state right now what we have planned so right now we need to maintain the post now how we can maintain the post here so now we already know that the counter state and the post state so this is these are the two states we need to maintain an application as we already know that application each application has only one state so how we can maintain the state here if you go application should have only one state so what can we do we will be creating one one main state that is nothing but the app state so this is the application state one main state and we will inherit this counter state and the post state into this app state so that we will be using this app state only so if we are using this app state means nothing but indirectly we are using the counter state and post state everything will be accessible here so now we need to have a one app state and the counter state and post state will will inherit into this one so this is the parent state so this is the single app state and these are all the sub sub so divided into the separate thing now we need to create the counter state is already created we need to create the post state and we need to create another app state so that we need to inherit everything into this one so this is the logic how we need to maintain now here if you see here so we need to combine this post data and also this counter data so we need to combine these two things and need and we need to different module states so these are the different module states what we are having we are having the post state right now so we will be yet to be creating and this is the counter state which is already created in our application now we need to create this one so we need to combine this one and we need to create the app state tomorrow another module if you are having this you will be creating a separate module for that one and you will add it into the app state directly so this is how we will be maintaining now how this app state will look at the final so total state of the application like this it will look so top at the top you are having the counter and here you are having the post so that means it total resembles the single state so this is one feature what we can say is this is one feature and here in the posts also you can say this is also you can say it as a one feature tomorrow another one comes you can keep the command you can go on 
category comes you can give the category same scenario how you will be well, how you will be maintaining the same scenario you will maintaining like this okay so now we have divided this one and we have maintained the single state get one single state of the application so this is how we will be maintaining single state of application so what we have did so we have took the two counter state and the post state these are the two different states modules feature modules what we can say and we are combining into a single state that is app state and now the total state app state will look like this and now how we can define okay so through the coding coding type how we can do so here is the counter so this is the counter state how you are having export interface counter state we are having like this counter number channel name string here having now here this is the post state so how we will be defining the post state export interface post state so why we will be having here we are having the post list that is array of posts so now we have created an interface for the post okay so that it will be very easy type type strong typing and now we are uh, down we have keeping posts of array of post here so this is how we will be maintaining the post state so this is a post state and here is the counter state and this post is nothing but the key of this post okay or post list you can maintain whatever the name you want you can keep it and here you will come the array of posts okay and this is the counter state and the post state and main the app state how it will look here this is the app state app state how it is looking is export interface app state and it will be having two things counter and the post so this is the app state so this is the app state you will be having you uh, you will be having like this and this app state you will reference wherever the components you are or you are referring you can refer it refer, the, refer this app state directly okay so this is how we will be maintaining the post data okay we will be main, we will be creating the post data another state so that we will be combining all the states into a single state okay so this is how so say now we are having the counter state and the post state and we are creating one new state that is app state which inherits the counter state and the post state and another one tomorrow another state comes so the everything comes into the app state and here this is this is how the state will look like so total state app state will look like and here this is how we will be we will be implementing the state in the logic form in the in the in the ngrx and here the app state will come so tomorrow another module comes down you can keep the whatever the name you want and you can keep the state so this post state is nothing but here this interface okay so this is how we will be dividing all the modules of the state and combining it to the app state so in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to implement this one in the coding how we can implement this type of structure in the ngrx we will try to implement if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you